if you're a graphic designer, photo editor, or even a video editor, finding the perfect monitor is critical to designing great stuff, to making great content, to even editing and making beautiful images and videos for your clients. So today I'm actually showing you the BenQ PD3225U. It is a 32 inch 4K Ultra HD monitor. It's designed specifically for creatives. I'm a designer myself, so I'm always designing, creating logos, brands, websites. So for me, having a big monitor like this really helps out because you get the extra 4K real estate. The refresh rate is 60 Hertz. I would have loved to have that at at least 120, but at 4K, it's fine. Watching movies on it is great. Even, you know, playing a bit of games or doing any type of design work in Photoshop, Illustrator, those type of apps work perfectly. And at this resolution, you really see the crystal clear pixels. It makes the visuals like so much better. And I like how they've incorporated HDR as well. So you can turn on HDR and it just brightens up everything. It's also an IPS panel, so it's got superior color accuracy. It's got 100% sRGB and 95% DCRP3 coverage. It ensures the colors are vibrant and as accurate as possible, really. It's basically factory cal calibrated. It's got HDR10, it's got 400 nits of brightness. You can change the contrast, the brightness on the menu. It has four buttons on the right hand side that you can click. You can also change settings to either HDMI, Thunderbolt or Display Port. I use the Thunder Port to connect my Windows Surface Laptop. This also works perfectly with MacBooks. You can easily switch it with the little hot puck. You can actually switch between, you know, multiple computers, multiple screens at once. You can switch and customize the buttons as well. So you can just change color modes can change the input as well. You've also got some different design based modes. You've got CAD mode, animation mode, and dual view, so you can split the screen. And I typically don't use these modes, but if you're an animator or if you're doing like specific type of, you know, architecture work or something like that, you might probably use it. Overall, the build quality is good. I liked how it's got a nice bevel on the monitor, the edges, it's all like clean and simple. There's no logo, the logo's at the back. So I really like that. It just makes the real estate of the screen more um, cleaner. Ergonomically, you can actually move the uh, monitor vertically. So you can actually rotate it, which is really cool. And you can also bend it left and right. I did test it with the stand and the stand is very sturdy. It's like solid metal and you can make it go up and down. It has sort of this weight mechanism inside of it. Um, but I used a custom a vase plate that I just drew it on the back, which was super easy. And so I can mount it onto my desk. So I left the stand on the side, but the stand is pretty good. It's just a bit big on the bottom. So it will take up a bit of space on your desk if you've got a small desk. So easy to pivot, which I like. It's also got IKEA tech, low blue light, and also it has flicker free. So it reduces the strain on your eyes and it's got USBs. You've got some on the side. You can put a headphone jack in as well. And then you've got the other ports at the back, USBs, HDMI, power cable, or pretty straightforward standard connections that help you work with anything you need to. Another cool thing is that it they does have a KVM switch, so you can control two systems using one monitor and keyboard. So if you have a MacBook or you got a P like a desktop and or a Mac Studio Mini or something like that, you can switch between them, um, which is cool. So if you're someone that does that, then this will work perfectly for you. I do also want to mention that it comes with a new app, this app called Display Pilot 2. It's a software that you can actually used to calibrate your screen and monitor the settings and play around the settings it gives you a bit more fine tuning. And so play around with that a little bit to get the exact details that you want out of your screen. It's got a 2000 to one contrast ratio. So you get these beautiful colors. And overall, I'm pretty impressed with the specs of this 4K monitor. It's really a strong competitor amongst all the other monitors out there at the moment. Works great for Windows and Mac. So I like that flexibility. Now, BenQ is also currently giving you the Palette Master Ultimate, which is another software that helps you calibrate your monitor's color accuracy in the simplest way possible. It comes with pre-made settings, whether you're doing web design or it's for video cinema, um, photography or photography, and you can literally click on those presets to fix the color grading. Um, so it makes, it's not too warm or not too cold, but it's perfect for your situation. You can also play around with advanced settings, change the gamut, luminance, and the gamma and all those things, especially if you're editing like high detailed images, that's super important um, when you're doing that. And if you do part of the mon monitor as well, they actually have a partnership with Pantone. So for designers out there, you get one year free of the Pantone Connect app, 
which you can use, you know, when you're doing a print job and you need to connect the right PMS Pantone colors um, for the print. So that's super cool that you get that as well. So overall, BenQ has some great monitors. This one is really good for designers. I love how it's 4K and it's great for editing photos. And I'm gonna be using it for my downstairs setup and I'm super pumped to start using it. If you do wanna check it out, I will put a link in the description below to purchase the BenQ monitor. Definitely check it out, the PD3225U. Click the link in the description. If you wanna see me review some other workspace items, I got a video right here, check it out.